Hey everybody, Jillian here for Illustrated Faith's Print and Pray Shop, and today I have a brand new process video for you using my pocket notebook. As you might have guessed, I'm going to be journaling some sermon notes, and several months ago I shared my process for getting these sermon notes into my journaling Bible with some physical products like a stamp set, um, alpha stickers. So this one walked through walked you through my process for getting it into the margin of a journaling Bible. And so today what I'm going to talk about is how I translate my sermon notes into my pocket notebook. So before I do that, let me show you what I'm using. So this is one of the new uh, May Designs notebook that Shauna Noel collaborated with on them, collaborated with them for. Shauna and May Designs collaborated. And one of the gorgeous results is this notebook. Really customizable, so fun. So I chose this um, like a wonky notebook paper type notebook and I'm using mine for sermon notes. On the inside I chose the colorful hexagons which makes sermon note taking a little more fun. So I want to walk you through my process of how I go from here into here. So here are my sermon notes for this particular week. I'm usually a little bit behind so I'll record just really quick the title of the sermon series, who's speaking, and this will vary depending on your preacher, um, the build up, the main point, and then the wrap up, which is usually like something practical. And then this little box here I use as a place to record a reminder to go a little deeper. So we were talking about something that happened in Luke, which reminded me about something that I was um, studying about in James. So I wrote a little reminder here. See also this passage. So in my pocket notebook, I have, whoops, this little notebook. In the past, I had erroneously called it um, passport size. It's not. It's a pocket size. So in here, I just have little random bits. Um, here is an example of sermon notes I've journaled using a Shauna Klingerman print and pray set. Another one using some stamps and some pieces from a Brave Little Tailor set. I believe it's a Living Word devotional kit. And then just some other random little journaling. So here's my spread for the day. I'm going to go ahead and take this guy out. Oh, here's another uh, May Design notebook that um, is one of the designs that Shauna created for them. I'll probably create in here the way that I do in here once I run out of pages in here. So what I'm going to do is go through my notes. I'm going to pull out three or four main things to bring over into here. I'm not going to copy all of this into here. That would be redundant and would not fit. Um, but I'll just show you how I take those kind of big ideas and move them over here using Elaine's new set and then a couple other um, physical products like stamps and things like that. So, with her set, we're coordinating patterned papers. Instead of printing out a sheet of each paper, I just, for this project, printed little squares. So I just created a really messy, as you can see, like crop, crop lines, and then put it all into one document and printed it out on clear sticker paper. Then all I'm going to do is cut boxes with rounded corners that will fit onto the pages of the pocket notebook and I'm going to cut out four boxes, one from each of the four different patterns, and I'm going to make them a little different in size. Once those are cut out, I'm going to figure out which orientation I like best, which pattern I like where, and then I'm going to go in and cut out the center of each box so you get like a wonky outline like this. Now it looks like where I cut into the pattern it looks like those two ends aren't going to meet up but you'll see when I put the sticker paper down it looks like one continuous box. But if for some reason that didn't work out for you and they didn't then line back up you could take one of these bows. I have mine printed on white cardstock and I plan on putting the bows over that seam. So it would kind of hide it anyway. So I have the interior of the boxes. Um, I'm just going to put those aside and I can use them for something later. 
Okay, so now that everything is cut out and I have an idea of where things are going to go, I'm going to look to my sermon notes here. And the hexagons in this case make it really easy for me to kind of figure out what I'm going to pull out. So I for sure want to reference the passage that we're looking at in Luke 14. And there were two points that were made in the buildup, people over policies and humility over hubris. So I'm thinking that I want to put those two in my box. Then we have like a pivotal moment in our preaching, which I'll probably put here, and then the practical parts I'll put in this larger box since there's three points here. And then there are two, like the title of the sermon up here, and then um, the, the word that we use to pivot. So I think that's how I'm going to set it up. And then once I have all of the meat in there, then I'll go ahead and add on all of the fun extras. So I'm going to start by getting my title stamped down. This set is currently out of stock in the Illustrated Faith Shop, but it will be coming back soon. So I'm going to, up in the top left, left center, uh, go ahead and stamp out the word everyone, starting with the last letter in the word so that I make sure that I have enough room, it's gonna be like right justified. And then I'm going to break up the one word into two lines, every on top of one. This is just so that I can make sure that bow is gonna nestle up in there nicely. Now, because this is on sticker paper, it kind of has like a mind of its own and it was a little tricky um, getting the outer outline of the box down without sticking to myself or itself or whatever. And it kind of had a mind of its own. I didn't plan on, on this guy being so far to the right, but it's all right. It ended up working out in the end. And I let the bow, this one and then the next one that I'll add, I let them hang over the edge. And I'm not sure if I'm going to trim those. We'll see. And then I decided here as I was placing them, I kind of like this fourth box vertically instead of horizontally. So I'm going to just rotate that from what I had originally planned. All right, now that my fourth and final box is down, then I'm gonna take my tape runner to the backside of this little green bow. And you can see I'm kind of folding it in the middle, so, um, and only putting adhesive in the middle mostly so that it kind of flaps up a little bit. Next, I'm going to take an assortment of black alphabet stickers from all different manufacturers and spell out the word instead. And I'm lining those words up on the top of that one sticker sheet so I can just make sure I like the way that each font looks together. For instance, this D was too small, so I decided to go back and swap it out for a larger one. And that is the pivotal word that I'll be using. And I liked that when I rotated the box to a vertical orientation that this word um, was just going to fit so much better. I am looking to one of the sticker sheets here to see if there's an asterisk or something that I can use for this word um, since there's a little bit of space down on the bottom and fill some of that in there. All right, so next up there was a piece of word fitty here that I wanted to use and I wanted to make sure that I didn't forget it, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that guy out once I figure out where he's going to live and then. I will get started with just transferring some of my notes over. All right, it was kind of tricky limiting myself to just these small spaces in a pocket-sized notebook, but it was a fun challenge. And then I'm going to go ahead and date stamp it. Date stamp it. I'm going to use the Studio Calico Mega Date Stamp. I'm not going to stamp the year, so I only inked up the month and the date in that corner there. And then you can see I have some white space here. So next up, I'm going to look to see what I have to fill some of that in. So I have these Amy Tangerine enamel hearts that I'll use in, I'll pick out the colors that kind of coordinate and, and use those. But first I want to stamp some art marks down. So using my Stazon Jet Black ink, I'm just going to take this spotty dot stamp and stamp that all over the place and then layer the enamel hearts on top of there. These aren't perfect matches, but I thought they were fun. Then I'm going to use this space here to write the name of the sermon series. This was the very last one in that series, so I just want to document that. 
and there we go. Just a fun, creative way to interact with those notes more than just when we take them on Sunday morning. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this guy back into my pocket notebook, slide my pen through the loop, and there we go. So I would love to see how you guys journal your sermon notes. If you went to church yesterday, I'd love to see you guys pull those back out, do something fun with them. You can find Elaine's printable sets, put a bow on it in the Print and Pray shop. I've got them linked down in the video description below for you too. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon.